Dr. Tim Porter O'Grady's career is highlighted by serving and supporting others as they become and thrive as nurses through his dedication, outstanding leadership, and excellence in his own nursing career. Since becoming a professional registered nurse more than 48 years ago, Dr. Porter O'Grady has been an active member of the American Nurses Association, leading a major change in board structures and governance strengthening. Beyond the ANA, he has lent his leadership and guidance to advancing nursing and healthcare delivery at Emory University, Arizona State University, and The Ohio State University, in addition to serving more than 25 boards over the course of his illustrious career. As I've uh, said many, many times, uh, I've never, ever regretted the choice of nursing as a profession. I'm so proud to have been able to call myself a nurse and to, uh, and to work as a member of that and continue to work as a member of that honorable and noble profession. Dr. Porter O'Grady still finds time to personally serve others. To this day, he serves as a wound and foot nurse specialist on the Mercy Care of Atlanta Street Medicine Team, a program he wrote the $3 million grant to permanently establish to care for the homeless and underserved. Tim is recognized as a leader with tremendous passion for the greater good of nursing and during times of uncertainty in transition and growth, he is seen as an impactful voice of where to go next. We acknowledge him as a truly remarkable nurse, educator, and leader. Congratulations, Dr. Tim Porter O'Grady, on receiving this much-deserved honor. I can't tell you how grateful I am to receive this award. Being inducted in the Nursing Hall of Fame is something beyond my wildest imagination as a nurse. I am thankful and I am grateful for your wonderful honoring of me in this way. There are so many people that I have to thank, and if I thank them all, I would take all of my time in thanks. I do want to acknowledge that I am thankful for the ones who have loved me, who have been colleagues and friends in my journey, who have supported me then and support me now. Please know that I am thankful for you, I appreciate you, and I love you as much in return. I do want to take the few minutes I have to acknowledge that this is the 200th year of Florence Nightingale's birthday. It's also the year of the nurse. What a double honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame on Florence Nightingale's anniversary and in the year of the nurse. I am doubly proud of being inducted this year. I want to recall Florence Nightingale's leadership and pray that just a small amount of that leadership will be in my legacy as I think about my own career and as I continue to move forward as a nurse. I think about Florence Nightingale a lot and I think about her leadership. I think about when she became a nurse at Middlesex Hospital when they were experiencing a cholera epidemic in Great Britain. I think about the pest house she found and then the courage and leadership that she demonstrated by transforming it from a pest house, applying her principles of hygiene, of cleanliness, of nursing practice, and creating out of it a model hospital of the day. I think of the Crimean War, where she confronted 18,000 wounded soldiers who were dying there, not of their wounds, but of the epidemic of cholera and of influenza. Yet there again, she applied the same principles and in it was able to return the conditions there to be supportive of health and healing. At that time, she used five basic principles. Hygiene, hand washing, distancing, separating beds, cleanliness, 
high levels of relationship and interaction, fresh air and institutional organization, and the use of data, recognizing that data was a part of clinical decision making and building a system of data management that would inform clinical practice. Now I think about this year as we've experienced our own pandemic and how many of those principles did we also apply in our time? What a legacy she left for us. I am thankful for her. I am thankful for having had such a wonderful career in nursing. I am thankful for the legacy that she has left for us and I am hopeful that my legacy will be just a small part of what she's given us. And I am proud to reflect and to claim on my being a nurse to this very day. Thank you so much for this honor. Know that I am grateful and I am humbled. <laughs>